Hello guys, and in today's video, I'm going to talk about when it's appropriate to play reactionary in the neutral, and how to counter the people that are playing too reactionary. So, if you fight a person who just seems to react to all your crap, and you just feel like you can't press anything because you're just going to react to everything, keep watching because I have a little secret that you can use against that person, and you can start getting some wins back. So, quick example, when is it appropriate to play reactionary, right? So right here we have a Mika who has this habit of drop kicking a lot and I find myself getting crush countered all the time. I'm just preemptively doing too much and I'm just getting owned. So this is an appropriate situation to play reactionary. Um, other situations is when your opponent is pressing limbs that are really heavy. You know, heavy limbs are easier to whip punish or they're using moves that have a lot of startup so you can see them coming. If they're using those two moves a lot, you should probably do less of your own thing and play more reactionary. And here's a quick example of what you should be doing. Boom, reaction with fierce, uppercut, right? So in this scenario, I'm not doing my own thing anymore by pressing the roundhouse and getting crush countered. I'm just waiting and countering properly with the reaction with fierce. Now, how do you counter the players that are playing too reactionary, right? And the answer is your movement becomes your new weapon. So believe it or not, Players that are actually players that are really good at reacting are more sensitive to play to, to movement. So if you tap down, if you tap left or right, it registers in their brain a lot more because they're looking for so much. They're really good at reacting, right? So what you do is, let's say in this scenario your opponent is Ken and you're Mika, right? You want to do what this Mika's doing right here. She's move she's moving, she's ducking to make me think drop kick is coming. And then she she uses her movement to walk in and then go for the grab. So that's a quick example of using your movement against reactionary players to open them up, you know, because they can't react to everything and they're be they become more sensitive to movement. So if you like this video, retweet it, like it, tell your friends about it, and I'll be back with more videos soon, all right? Thank you, everybody.